everybody, Death Stalker here. So another day, another first world problem. Well, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that about a month or so ago, I posted a picture saying goodbye to my little uh, black phone too. And I'll put a picture of it here. And the phone was uh, like a high security phone. Uh, and it did exactly what I wanted to do. And I actually really enjoyed it. But unfortunately, over the winter, the battery started to go. And uh, when it was unplugged from power, I get maybe an hour, if I was lucky, before the uh, battery would die. It actually got so bad that I was actually uh, carrying around a little power pack. And uh, I was trying to see if I could actually buy a used one to uh, replace it, because I really like that phone. Uh, if you're on social media, you know, a lot of the uh, apps they have there, wants to know everything about you. Wants your contacts, your phone list, you know, your addresses, your location, all that sort of stuff. Which, you know, I don't mind talking a bit about stuff, but I don't like the idea of having a, a phone uh, trying to use my personal information for profit. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, the phone's not being made anymore, you know, the way technology works, so I ended up having to uh, buy a new phone. And I ended up uh, getting a Samsung, uh, I guess it's, I think it's an S10e, which is, you know, people are joking, it's the economy model, but it's basically it's, it's got a lot of the stuff that I'd never use anyways, removed from it. And of course, once you get a new phone, you get all the aggravation of, you know, trying to get your address book and all that sort of stuff transferred to the new phone. Now you're saying, well, you, you haven't, you can have, you didn't store it in the cloud. It's like, uh, no, the clouds are susceptible to hacking, and uh, again, the thing about using my personal information for profit thing. I was sort of like manually transferring everything over and I had the new phone pretty much set up, ready to go. Took the SIM card out of the old black phone, stuck it in the new Samsung, and didn't the friggin' Samsung reboot itself and format itself to factory original. My wife heard, heard me from the other part of the house. I was not a happy camper. So I'm back there having to re-enter all the damn data again. Now, luckily I didn't uh, take my old phone and like junk it or recycle it. I hang on to that sort of stuff to, uh, you know, just in case you have to uh, find something that you knew you had and it was on the old phone and you forgot to transfer it, so. So essentially it was about another couple days I got the, the new Samsung working more or less how I like it, you know. I get the annoying messages from Google saying, turn on your stuff or this app won't work, where I basically, you know, I, I give the phone a finger and tell it to go away, because it's like, it ain't gonna happen. But, uh, other than that, it's working okay. It, I tell you, the uh, the phone definitely has a much better camera. The camera technology has jumped miles since the uh, black phone. And it's a little bit smaller. And uh, I'm left-handed, so I have uh, most phones I've actually had always had issues, you know, like you go to hold it in your left hand, you accidentally hit the buttons and whatnot. And this phone, the buttons are in such a place that they're actually not getting in the way of my normal way of holding a phone, so. So anyways, I sort of survived. I'm still here. You know, I've uh, never been one of the guys uh, you know, who has to get a new phone every uh, every every year or every six months or whatnot. I actually know a guy who buys whatever the latest greatest phone is. Like he like he actually he has an illness as far as I'm concerned. Like I know he's got tons of money, but it's like OMG. Like he buys between ten and twelve phones a year. And what he does is once 
he's got the latest and greatest phone he gets a second phone goes to his wife and the other one goes to his next down to his daughter and all that sort of stuff it's like just weird i you know like i always thought the people that went and uh you know stood in line to get the latest whatever the latest and greatest apple product was or or the latest and great latest and greatest samsung or lg or whatever phone came out i always thought that was weird uh, you know to want to be the first to buy a very overpriced product but yeah people do what they want to do but this guy he's gave of extremes but on the positive side you can actually ask him, well, what's this phone like? Because he's probably had it. And, you know, he, he told me which phones to stay away from. And I know my wife, uh, back in the day when she had her Galaxy 3 in it, was starting to, you know, fail. And uh, we asked him, well, what's a good phone to get? Like, she doesn't want the latest and greatest. She just wants a good, reliable phone. And uh, he gave us a couple suggestions, and we actually found the one that uh, he suggested, and she pretty much likes it. But again, though, it's I just can't imagine spending thousands, like, you know, probably in the neighborhood of $10,000 a year buying phones. My wife would kill me. That's wasting a good motorcycle money. So, again, first world problems. You know, I'll survive. Until the next, uh, until this phone starts to go, and I have to replace that. But uh, hopefully, that'll be another four or five years from now. Anyways, that's all for now. Desk Doctor signing off.